Welcome back to Wingnuts, the home of micro maintenance, and our third episode of Behind the Scenes of one of the largest micro light and ultra light maintenance centres in the UK. Okay, so welcome back, and it's been a very busy week, uh, quite an eventful one for us, so we'll try and talk through some of the things that we've been up to. Um, the week started off with uh, one of the guys flying in on Sunday. Um, he bought his Sky Ranger to us, uh, and he wanted a full Trig Avionics um, upgrade to his existing Sky Ranger. So pressure was a bit on because he was due to fly back on Wednesday, which gave us Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in order to do all the avionics. He also wanted a permit to fly inspection. Uh, he also um, wanted a sea service, pretty much wanted us to do quite some significant work to his SWIFT. So this, uh, this area, um, yeah, it was quite a hive of activity on, on Monday and Tuesday. I think there was four of us working on his plane um, at one time, however, Tuesday night, I got a phone call from Jay basically saying the weather's closing in. We went from having Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to having Monday, Tuesday. So we worked late last night right. to get the plane <laughs> squared away. Um, but there's an entire paperwork exercise that needs to be done in order for us to release the plane, um, of which the pilot, the owner, wants to get away uh, ASAP. So. Uh, that was good fun, there was a lot there. Anyway, the Trig system went in beautifully. What a fantastic system they are. We're big fans of Trig uh, stuff. We uh, did a custom uh, floor, um, floor pan so we could put the uh, base unit in there. We also fitted a external uh, pallet aware system. So that all went in there. The downside with rag skins, obviously there's no hard points for putting aerials. So we built one of our um, ground planes uh, which were nice and rounded and all, all so they wouldn't uh, cause any damage to the skin, secure the aerial uh, and also offer for a ground plane. We hardwired that into the audio system as well so you got uh, pilot aware audio directly into the intercom system. We did varying bits of uh, repairs as well so there's a few gauges that weren't working that we saw, oh behind your head there, <laughs> ow, times I've banged my head today, three. Um, so yeah, there was lots, uh, lots going on with that aircraft and then just uh, last minute as we were trying to get it through the door um, the permit team came along and, and made us aware that it also needed weighing so it was a full empty of the tanks and again a quick rush job just to get the aircraft weighed correctly so that he could get his permit to fly issued. So lots more going on, we're going a little, little bit deeper into our workshop now and finally for those of you who are eagle-eyed we've had this Rans with us now for a number of weeks and it's just been bogged down with paperwork anyway. Finally, we've got the green light to start work on this. So we had uh, one of our friends came over who's an LAA inspector. Uh, and we talked through the proposed mods that we're doing to this aircraft. So hopefully next week um, you'll see some of the things that we're doing to this. So yeah, lots going on with this aircraft. Uh, again, my toolbox still hasn't moved. It's still there waiting to go. Uh, further developments on our custom build, so those of you that are aware that we've been building a, uh, a Ninja LS, this was originally meant for the flying school that's here, uh, but lockdown came along and this became a pretty much a lockdown project for myself and Alan, uh, who were socially distancing at that time, and we decided to pretty much pull out all the stops and do one of the best that we could do, and this has got a full trig system in there, it's got custom panels, overhead consoles, even heated seats, camera system in it, it is the dream Sky Ranger for somebody. Anyway, this is developed, uh, can't go into it too much, but yeah, we should see some movement on this. PBs wise, well Michelle's been busy on the PB side, so we, uh, we've been trying to get one of our PBs out to, um, it was an Adam actually, trying to get that out to the States. So yeah, she's been pulling her hair out, trying to sort out all of the shipping. Um, and again, some of the videos that you guys may have seen from our good friend Giles Fowler. Uh, we've got a lot of interest on these wheels. Well, next week we're hoping to develop some more mods uh, and uh, upgrades for the PB. So not only will we have these stunning deep dish wheels, which come in in a, about a gazillion colors, 
Uh, we're also looking at some more styling as well. So looking more at the uh, the seat belts and the seats and just micro maintenance in things. Um, but yeah, oh, you may also notice we're doing some work on our world headquarters. So our world headquarters has been working away there. You'll probably hear a saw or two. So one of these days I'll allow you upstairs and show you what go is going on up there. But very much we're a growing business. We uh, we we built this particular uh, workshop um, during lockdown as well. Lots been going on in engineering. Uh, I see Ben is actually finally doing some work. Please ring. He's abusing me. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, engineering's been busy. Uh, a couple of our custom brackets for the Adams and the PBs that hold the motor monitor and the Tiggy system uh, have been produced. We've had some more stock arrive. So these are the sort of things that we're looking to carry. So inner tubes, tires, even load mounts for uh, uh, 912s. Uh, the press has come up, so we should be doing some gearboxes uh, servicing um, next week as well. So yeah, lots going on in engineering. What's been going on in our other workshop? So Donnie's had a week off, how dare he? So Donnie's uh, been away for the last week, but Donnie, we set on building these wings. Donnie's back with us next week, so I'm really hoping to see uh, these wings um, take a few steps forward so we can get these covered and get these actually on, the, uh, the new Ninja. The engine with the sprag clutch, uh, <laughs> the saga with that goes on and on, uh, and we keep finding more and more issues uh, with an engine. Amazing once you start looking. Um, what could be actually wrong with that? So yeah. What else have we been going on? So yeah, um, one of the aircraft that we've had here for a while, um, you've probably seen on the previous episodes, is this Quantum 912. So we should be coming to an end of this. It's been nice to see that the seat pan has gone back in. Um, we, we really struggled, uh, as I'm sure most of us are at the minute, getting hold of parts. Parts particularly can be difficult. Um, particularly with P&M machines just at the moment. The guys uh, are doing everything they can and we really support them as a, as a company um, because I don't think we realize just what hard work they're going through in order to get parts out. But we've got some of the um, O-rings and some of the washers um, so that we can get the fuel tank senders and the fuel return pipes in there. So they've arrived, which is great. So that's all gone back in. And so yeah, really happy to see that this one's uh, coming to an end. We've also had this Sky Ranger Swift. Uh, we quite like Sky Rangers, you may have noticed. This one came in for a 200 hour engine service and a gearbox service. Um, unfortunately, Shelly, when she was doing her initial inspection, found quite a number of significant problems with this aircraft. So we're just getting it uh, back into a state. And I think there's gonna be some uh, serious work to do with this. So the, few of the engine mounts not ideal, water pump uh, seal there that needs sorted and a load of other little bits of uh, cosmetic stuff that needs to be done to it in order to get it back to a perfect flyable state. Anyway that's pretty much it for uh, Wing Nuts, the home of micro maintenance. We hope you're enjoying our channel. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Uh, it's always nice to see new subs. We do read your comments. Uh, hopefully we can reply to most of them. So if you have any advice uh, camera settings or places you want us to see more of or a bit more information on certain things don't hesitate to ask we'll try our hardest to answer and the last thing that we've been doing this week has been looking at this poorly Eurostar so we mentioned last week that we were we were getting onto this we were able to do uh, an initial assessment but yeah it's a it's a poorly one we're working with two uh, Eurostar specialists I don't know if this is uh, our remit um, Eurostar certainly aren't our forte, but again, we've got a really nice network in the UK micro lighting and ultra lighting scene, so it's really nice to work with some additional companies. And we'll see how this one progresses. Anyway, until next week, I really appreciate that you've been watching, really appreciate your support. It's fantastic to see so many people uh, liking and watching our videos, and hopefully, we'll see you next week. Thanks again from Wingnuts Micro Maintenance. See you guys. Bye.